Welcome to JTV. Today I would like to demonstrate how to do a basic startup and operation of an ABB ACS 355 AC drive using a basic control panel. After verifying that the wiring is correct, I can apply power to the drive to begin programming. This particular drive has a basic control panel mounted to the front opposed to the advanced control panel. The basic control panel has a single LCD line display and is divided into five areas. The upper left indicates the control location with either local or remote. The center shows the value or parameter with the unit of this value displayed in the upper right. The lower left corner shows the panel operation state. This could display output mode, parameter mode, main menu, or fault. Finally, the bottom right indicates the direction and status of the motor. The soft keys below help navigate through the control panel and will be used in throughout this setup guide. There is also a local remote key to allow an easy change to the control location and a direction key to change direction of the motor. To access the parameter menu, I will push the menu soft key. The output on the bottom left should then change to menu. I can then scroll with the arrows until I see PAR and push enter. The menu and enter key are both the same and labeled on the basic control panel. In the parameter menu, the bottom left will now display PAR for parameter. I will use the arrow keys to find parameter group 99 and then push enter. My first parameter is 9901. This parameter changes the language and can be adjusted by pushing the enter key for a few seconds, which will allow me to change the set data. Since English is the default, I will keep this parameter without saving. To do this, I will push the reset exit soft key on the left. The 99 parameter group is the startup data and will require the motor data found on the nameplate located on the motor itself. The next parameter is 9902. This sets the application macros. This is application specific and should only be altered if required. Some of these applications include PID control, three wire startup, motor potentiometer, and torque control. The next parameter is 9903 for motor type. This can either be set for asynchronous motors or permanent magnet synchronous motors. 9904 sets the motor control mode for vector speed, vector torque, or scalar control mode. For a basic startup, I will keep the 9903 and 9904 parameters at the default settings. The 9905 parameter is for the motor nominal voltage. I'll hold the enter button for a few seconds to adjust the parameter. The motor in this demonstration unit is approximately 230 volts. I'll scroll to this value by holding down on the arrow keys and then push the enter key to save. Next I will arrow up to 9906 for the motor nominal current. This should be listed in amps on the nameplate. I will put in 0.8 for this motor, then hit enter to save. Next I'll go to parameter 9907 and I'll enter the motor nominal frequency which is 60 Hz in this case. Next, I'll go to parameter 9908 and enter the motor's nominal speed. My motor lists this as min minus one, but many motors will list this in RPM. The value on this nameplate is 1660. Next, I'll go to parameter 9909, where I will enter the motor nominal power. This will be 0.2 horsepower according to the nameplate. Some motors manufactured outside of the U.S. will use kilowatts in place of horsepower on the motor. The values might be similar but should not be taken as the same. At this point, I have completed the entry of my motor nameplate data. If needed, I can change the acceleration and deceleration of the motor by going back to the main parameter menu and scroll to parameter group 22. I can push enter to get parameter 2202 and 2203. The default value is 5 seconds, which could be adjusted from anywhere from 0.1 to 1800 seconds. Once I am finished with adjusting the parameters, I can push the exit key a few times to get back to the output mode. 
I'll be sure to check that there are no faults or alarms shown on the display and that I am in the local mode of operation before I start the motor. Now I'll go into the reference mode by pushing the menu key and then scroll to REF and press the enter key. I can now push the up arrow for my desired speed and then push the start button. The bottom should flash forward until it reaches the set point. Once the desired speed is achieved, the forward will turn into a steady on. By pushing on the arrow keys in the output screen, I can check the speed, current drawn, and the percentage of torque the motor is producing. I can push the direction button to switch the direction of the motor. The drive will ramp the motor down to zero speed and reverse the motor direction. The bottom right will display reverse and the motor will then ramp back up to the commanded speed. To stop the motor, I can push the stop key here. The ABB ACS 355 AC Drive, along with thousands of other products and services, are available at galco.com.